on September 11th, 2001, a group of terrorist hijackers flew a pair of passenger jets into the World Trade Center, killing almost 3,000 people. The event stunned the world, and perhaps most shocking and perplexing of all was how so much hatred could be directed at the American people. What have we done to deserve such an atrocity was the question on many people's lips. But while many in the West may be oblivious to the drastic and far-reaching effect of American foreign policy over the past half a century, all the peoples of the Middle East have at some time had their lives altered by its influence. From the European imperial powers hoping to expand their empires and consolidate their power in the early 19th century, to the front lines of the US-Soviet Cold War following World War II, to the West's ever-growing dependence on ever-dwindling oil supplies. The Middle East for the last century has been the most coveted and elusive prize of the Western world. Western intervention has dramatically changed the lives of everyone in the Middle East, where often national self-interest has overridden self-espoused ideologies and values at the expense of many of its people. September 11th marked the first time the repercussions of these actions were felt firsthand on American soil. The rules have changed. It is now impossible to ignore the potential consequences and effects of our foreign policy and actions abroad. To prevent ourselves from making the same mistakes, we must learn the history of both us and them. By the end of World War II, the US had emerged as the West's sole remaining unwrecked superpower. The once mighty European empires had been brought to the knees by years of brutal and unrelenting conflict. These empires left behind them in the Middle East a legacy of ill-fated imperial ambitions. Only Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Iran and Turkey had managed to escape the clutches of colonial rule following World War I and the collapse of the Ottoman Empire which for centuries before had dominated much of the Middle East. By the end of World War II, the European powers had been forced to relinquish much of their control over the Middle East in the face of ever-growing opposition and nationalism. The European legacy of occupation and encroachment had made many people in the Middle East hostile to the West. The United States, however, was regarded somewhat differently. Contrary to popular belief, the US was once widely admired in the Middle East, 
President Woodrow Wilson's enunciation of the 14 points, which called for the recognition of the sovereign rights of all nations, left a great impression, just as the region began preparing itself to resist the looming encroachment of the British and French empires. America's own creation by overthrowing colonial British rule also provided a great deal of inspiration to the rising tide of nationalism. America's isolationist policy prior to World War II also meant that its involvement in the region had been largely benevolent. Missionary work, the creation of medical and educational institutions, and the exploration and development of oil in the region all had positive lasting effects. The US was also highly critical of European expansionism, which it blamed for the outbreak of World War I and II. The US's own reputation as an anti-imperialist power also earned it a great amount of support in the Middle East. However, two important factors would dramatically alter America's relationship and policy in the Middle East. World War II had seen the creation of the Russian-Soviet Union. The two superpowers would become bitter economic, political, military and ideological rivals for the next half a century. The Middle East would become the front lines of the struggle between the two superpowers, as the US hoped to contain the spread of communism in the Soviet Union. The Cold War would dominate US foreign policy in the Middle East for several decades. The war had also seen the transition to reliance on oil, the vital resource fueling the new industrial age and America's rapid economic expansion. If the US now hoped to compete with the Soviet Union and maintain its position as a world superpower, it would have to engage in the Middle East in ways it had never done before. The US would soon become the predominant power in the Middle East shaping and altering the lives of all its peoples.